Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Five Minute Gaming News, the show that may or may not be five minutes. Today in the news, we've got some interesting information about what we can expect from Baldur's Gate 3, including a release date. In a community post on Steam, developer and publisher Larian Studios stated that while the PC and PS5 versions of the game were originally slated for August 31st, the PC version will now arrive earlier on August 3rd, while the PS5 version will launch later on September 6th. Baldur's Gate 3 is targeting 60 frames per second, and we're close to achieving that on the PS5 platform, but need a bit more extra time, Larian said. We don't want to compromise on quality and feel it would be a shame to downscale to 30 FPS or make other compromises to hit an arbitrary date. Which is great news for PC fans, but also kind of rough for just general RPG fans who now, in September, have to make that really hard choice of where they're going to put their time, either this or Starfield. And speaking of RPGs, Larian claimed Baldur's Gate 3 includes more cinematic dialogue than three times all three Lord of the Rings novels put together, and 174 hours of cinematics, making it over twice as long as every season of Game of Thrones combined. Now, of course, I'd wager that's all the different pathing and various courses you can take in the story, but it's still a lot. And for a little perspective on all this, Disco Elysium, a script with over a million words, and Red Dead Redemption 2 that had roughly a 2,000 page script, this is a lot more than that. And that is quite the boast, which gives RPG fans again this choice between, are you gonna go 174 hours of cinematics and experience this epic story, or is your RPG Again, more Starfield thing where it's a thousand planets and you choose your adventure. I don't know. Clearly, Larian and Baldur's Gate 3 is going to have the same choose your fate mechanics as well, but a more guided story, right? So if all these numbers make you feel overwhelmed. Look, I, I don't blame you. It is overwhelming. But I think we're sort of in this weird, we got to play as fast and as much as we can kind of culture right now, especially with streaming, where every damn streamer's like, I got to get through 50 hours of a game in this weekend or else I'm going to miss the other 12 games that are coming out. I just want to say, you don't really have to play that fast. You can just play it on your own time. When you have time, experience the story, get involved with it. This is a game that if it is as deep of an RPG as Larian says it is, with the choices you can make and the interactions you can have and the hours and hours of in-game lore you can dig through, just take your time. You don't need to rush. You don't need to be overwhelmed. You can play for a couple hours a night and be like, that's good enough. It's, it's all right. In other news, Bloober Team, the team behind the amazing layers of fear and Observer and countless other scary games, they say they're stepping away from psychological horror and moving more towards mass market horror. The release of the newest Layers of Fear, which is the sort of big collection of that story bookended with some new content. They say that's the end of that chapter, and now we're looking at Bloober Team 2.0. In an interview with Engadget, studio co-founder Pietor Pabellano shared, We focused on the story, we focused on the mood, we focused on the quality of graphics and music, but we didn't put a lot of attention on the gameplay mechanics. We decided our next titles should be more mass market oriented. We'd like to talk with people more. We'd like to deliver our ideas with our DNA, not by environment or storytelling, but by action. So all of our future titles will have a lot of gameplay mechanics. They will be much bigger. And Layers of Fear, the sort of collection that released earlier this month, received a myriad of mixed and mid reviews across the board and sadly didn't really seem to resonate with fans and critics as much as Blooper had hoped. And so it's time for a pivot. And additionally, we know that their next big project is the Silent Hill 2 remake, which I imagine is the much bigger they're talking about because yeah, they're gonna have to do a lot different than what they normally do for that game. There's no word exactly on when the remake is coming, but it promises to have the original story told across updated, seamless gameplay with no loading screens. And hopefully Blooper nails this. They've got a great foundation to work with. Silent Hill 2 is amazing. If you haven't seen the Let's Play that Scary Game Squad and I did, it's one of my favorite games of all time. It's, it's so good. And so I'm hoping once they start getting into this, and that comes out, they can move on to those bigger, more robust horror games they're going to come up with. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Speaking of horror, I'm not looking forward to. It's time for your cred minute.
Hello everybody, how's it going? It's me, Crendor, and welcome back to the Cren Minute, my once a week segment where I have to talk about whatever I want for a minute. But today, we're talking about Jesse Cox. That's right, the Jesse Cox has hit 1 million YouTube subscribers. Congratulations, Jesse Cox, on hitting the big one zero 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 zero. I had to think about that in my head. I was like, how many times am I saying zero? So congratulations, you know, uh, long time coming. Uh, my partner over at youtube.com slash Cox and Crendor podcast, all one word, one of the best podcasts on the internet and also one of the worst podcasts on the internet. And, uh, you know, playing games back in the day, doing a whole bunch of stuff. So congratulations. And, you know, I hope you have a fun time picking out which version of Skyrim out of the 400 uh, to play for completing your Let's Play, you said you'd do. So yeah. Thanks, Grendor. Anyway, that is it for me. Thanks so much. I'll see you all Monday for another episode of 5-Minute Gaming News.